My name is Omar from the Sound of Many Waters. You're tuned into Gospel for Grampian, Community Gospel Radio, seven communities around North Scotland here to enrich lives. Tune in on your iTunes and direct from the Gospel for Grampian website, www.g4g.org.uk, where you'll be able to hear programs again. Gospel for Grampian, here to enrich lives. Your gospel is all about making sure that wherever you come from, you'll be able to hear the gospel. Coming up now is the gospel in Telugu, which is the local language for the south of India. And it's presented by Reverend Waiwama. Na peru Pastor John Marks, South India. Parshud de Grandamro Andi, Yohan Swata, Mura Dhyayamu, Padharo Chino, Dedo Sami Puno Navarandar Gada, Parshud de Grandani Tirichi Chodalani, Mano Chestana, Sadutananu, Devot Lokamanu, Ento Premichino, Kaga, Aina Tana Duti, Akumar Niga, Putina Vaniandu, Miswas Munsu Pratiwadanu, Nasim Paka, Nitya Jeevamu Pundunatlu, Aina Nu Anagrinchanu, Teres Totra, Amen. Your gospel aims to make the gospel available in languages from around the world. It's taken from John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Look out for more from your gospel at the top of the hour every hour on Gospel for Grampian. Listen. .g4g.org.uk If you'd like to catch up with our podcasts, then it's podcast.g4g.org.uk Thank you for listening. A very good evening to you. Welcome along to this Power Hour. Power Hour is about applying God's Word in prayer. Now for this evening's program, our theme is Honouring God and honouring others. Honouring others includes honouring our parents, and that's something that the Bible actually tells us to do. Quite often, I usually don't have so much a, always a clue so far in advance of what the theme will be for this evening. But it struck me today when I went to a funeral, and this funeral was to honour a, a great guy and a husband to a, a loving wife, a guy who'd done many things in his life and who had had such a good relationship with his family, with his younger brother, with his parents, and indeed with his work colleagues. It I felt that the eulogy and the the tributes paid to this gentleman were honouring. I, I went along to this funeral as well because I happen to know this gentleman from being a, a beekeeper. I am a beekeeper and the gentleman and his wife uh, were uh, and are. So it was really, I felt, an honouring uh, tribute to the gentleman and uh, I was really pleased that I went. But how should we honour people how should we honor god well the bible does give us some clues and the object of of actually praying into this certainly this evening is to give a greater understanding about the word honor i suppose i don't know whether you've ever been honored for anything but it's great when people do say nice things about you and respect you for who you are. And I suppose it comes down to this. We're told in the Bible to love the Lord God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength and our neighbour as ourselves. So when we love, and we love someone enough to, for example, come along to a funeral or to spend time with them, then that is, I suppose, a sense of honouring them.
There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. 1 John 4, verse 16, verse 18, I do beg your pardon. Now, the command to our love our parents is in very many parts of the Bible, several parts of the Bible anyway. Exodus 20 verse 12, for example, Honour your father and mother, then you will leave, live a long and full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Ephesians 6 verse 2, Honour your father and mother. This is the first command with a promise. So let's think and pray about honouring and we develop from there. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, it seems actually quite a big title to have, a big title which we could expand a lot. But what I do know is that when we love each other and we honour each other when we love you in particular love the Lord God with all your heart mind soul and strength when we think about you the things that you've done when we endeavour Lord to read your word and pray to you at all times then we're coming to rely on you and honouring you by realising that we are not above you we're not more important than you we're not more important than others but we recognize others we recognize you for who you are we recognize your son for what your son jesus christ did on the cross in our place we thank you lord we think about others and we recognize the people that they were times that we spent with them and when we do that we're honoring them Lord God please help us to think of others more highly than ourselves to love our neighbour, even as we should, and even when they do bad things against us, even when they think badly of us, even when, and especially when, we're tempted to think badly of them. But simply help us to see things, think things from your point of view. I pray, Lord God, that by honouring each other, as we truly should. We pray, Lord, that you will make sure that the world will be a better place for that. Help us with our honouring also to have wisdom, wisdom about the way that we approach things. Wisdom so that not, we're not branded gullible, but simply so that we honour in the correct way. Thank you, Heavenly Father, even for this short series of thoughts and prayers. And all the time, Lord God, as we look around us, Lord, we're seeing a world a world, Lord God, which is coming apart. A world which is in disarray. Often because people just think of politics. People don't think of others even as they should. Even as we should. So Father, Lord God, please forgive us. Please forgive me. I pray, Lord God, 
for a better world, a better world in which we put you first, that we love you with all our heart, mind, soul and strength, and we love our neighbour as ourselves. Amen. Now this has just been a fairly quick section of the Power Hour in which we have been praying and thinking about honouring God and honouring others. As we go in to the music now, have a think and a pray about these things. And it's our prayer that even now the world might be a better place. That our lives would be better and that we would work to help other people's lives to get better. Just as a loving father wants the best for his children. Just as I heard about a wonderful husband and a wonderful friend who wanted the best for his family, wanted the best for his friends. And I tell you what, this gentleman has been most generous toward both Helen and myself in the past. And he has been really generous. So what more can we say? He was a good example of someone who looked out for others. This is Gospel for Grampian and this is the Power Hour. You can hear this as a podcast very soon indeed. Just after 8pm. And we will be back at the same time next week with another Power Hour. Gospel for Grampian, engaging equipping and enabling communities to live life to the full with Christ Jesus at the centre.